purpose. Okay, so the title of today's show was like, what makes a man successful? Right. Right? Because I was kind of springboarding this off of Fresh and Fit and, and Wes Watson and Andrew Wilson. Yeah. Right? Because one of the questions they asked was like, what, uh, what is success to you? And they're, all these guys are influencers and everything, of course. And, and a lot of I them just sort of sa sounded mm -hmm. this, a lot of the, well, the people who are on the panel anyways, mm -hmm. sounded, all, it was pretty much the same kind of canned responses over and over again. And I kind of wanted to put the question to you guys as well. It's like, uh, and maybe this was sort of inadvertently the way to do that is mm -hmm. what makes a guy successful? What do you think, a what, what qualities does a successful man have? And I think you just answered with one of those right there, which is a confident, which is having confidence. I would argue also that confidence is derived from options. It doesn't magically happen. You have to go bust your ass and create and yes. generate options yeah. so that you, you have can to do be things confident. That makes you uncomfortable. Well, yeah, but you, yeah. you, you, you have to so that you you have to do today what others won't so that tomorrow you can do what others can't. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that's how you get that you want to know how you gain confidence? You go out there and you bust ass and you create right. opportunities yes. for yourself exactly. so that when so you get to that point, you can choose between the best the best options for yourself because an optionless man is a necessitous man and necessitous men are never free mm -hmm. so when I when I was looking at this I'm like I would have answered all these questions a whole lot differently but I wanted to put it to you guys as well since this is the title of the day, today's show is what it just like randomly you can just rattle don't say the same thing because you're probably gonna say a thing but well, like give me like two qualities that makes a successful guy and you can't say confidence because we just talked about confidence so I was mentioning this in the mm -hmm. break room not giving a fuck don't give a fuck. Don't give a fuck about no one's opinion mm -hmm. because at the end of the day, you can only validate your own opinion because this is your own life. If someone mm -hmm. tells you, oh, you're not able to do this, fuck them. Do it anyways. Perseverance. Yes. Mm -hmm. Red, what's a, what's, a quality, what's a quality of a successful man? Um, so I don't know if we're talking in terms of like financial success. However you want to define it, because they left it wide open. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. how I see success, like overall, and something that's going to like uh, be in your life for long term and not just short term, mm -hmm. it would be like um, I don't know how to explain this, but uh, some kind of a, a happiness stability, like knowing that even if you fall on your ass and you lose all that investments and money and all that mm -hmm. stuff, that you still have your your mm -hmm. ground because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. you can build an empire you can have everything that you've ever aspired to have you could have more than that and you could be the most depressed person in the room and that's what i think is really important for men to like kind of wrap their head around like it's way more important to be happy and to be wholesome than to be financially off just because everyone says you should be mm -hmm. armani um, there's like a multitude of ways to define success. Personally, it just depends on the goal. Honestly, I feel as if it's like selective. It depends on what you define success as. Like, what do you think? Like, men, what do you think men should define success as? Um, In general, overall happiness. Um, you know, finding the right person, building an empire. That's what I think success is. And it doesn't matter what level that's in. Rather, you want to be on a farm, you know, by yourself or with a partner, raising some cows. If that's your success story, that's your success story. There are, there are bums who think they're successful. It's really a state of mind and a frame of mind. Mm -hmm. um, or if you want to be a millionaire, as long as you work towards that and there's like an end goal, that's what success is to me. It depends on the goal. We can't just, you know, define it in one way. Yeah. I would say what makes a man successful is discipline and like knowledge, like being smart, mm -hmm. you know, about the way they move and, um, you know, like just not, for example, like my fucking ex that like, you know, just like didn't like, you know, I'm not here to judge or anything, but like. Just like oh, we are. Go ahead. Please do. <laughs> we, we judge here. Okay, bet. Put a one in the chat if you're ready to judge. Are you ready to judge? You are ready to judge your ass but off. Like, Put a one know, in the chat. You know, like, you know, just like not, like making me feel like fucking just like, yeah, you can't fucking go out, blah, 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 blah you know, like, you know, works at a weed dispenser. I'm not, you know, whatever. That's um, not success? Working at a weed dispenser? <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. Th that's a cool thing, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, that's, you know, it's his passion. But, like, I feel like there's no, like, res I don't know. Just, I feel like, yeah, <laughs> fuck it, fuck it. Product, product placement. <laughs> Jesse, what, one quality. One? Well, 
What, how do you think men should define success and give one quality? Um, I feel like success isn't... And talk like, into the mic. Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. I feel like success, like how um, Imani was saying, is not like defined one way. Mm -hmm. um, I think you become successful by not being afraid to fail and mm -hmm. then having the perseverance to like continue working towards whatever success looks like to you, even though you might go through hiccups, you know? Right. Because you only learn by doing it wrong, <laughs> mm -hmm. you know? That's mm -hmm. how you figure out what works and what doesn't, is just trying and trying again, and then one day it just clicks, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Same recipe. Alice. Yeah, I mean, everybody's different, and, you know, everybody thinks that their Into success the mic. is... The mic. Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. Uh, their success looks different, but I think the most important thing is to basically have some sort of idea about yourself. I feel like a lot of men are just going through the life. They have no idea what yeah. they're doing. They're like, oh, I want this and I want this and I want this. But at the same time, they're not making anything to make those things happen. Yeah. So I think that just basically having an idea about yourself and what you what you want mm -hmm. in life and how you want your life to look like. Mm -hmm. How about this? There is a man right. who has money and a man who has the mechanisms with which to get right. Money. If we had to start over, he could write books. I could cr create another and program. Probably will. He's doing. He's doing. <laughs> he he can he can sell the shit out of stuff. If we, it's not just that we have money. We have the mechanisms with which right. to make more money. But those mechanisms always deal with men solving. Problems. problems and those problems the, the the bigger the problem we solve the more money we can make on a regular basis so having those mechanisms of solving large problems mm -hmm. that's how that to me is what success is being born with 50 million dollars mm -hmm. you're doing good i'm not saying you're not doing good mm -hmm. but that's not success in the same right. way what you have just described and i haven't brought this up in a long time what you just described is the attraction qualities of men who have creative intelligence and what that means is this is if you and they've done these experiments like like a adjusting for like the physical attractiveness of the guy they have like say okay do you find this man more attractive or this man more attractive and usually it's a guy who has come into money and because of family or whatever this is his character and his background right mm -hmm. Uh, that has come into money, and he's a good-looking guy. Uh, he doesn't have much talent, but his parents, he's already wealthy, and he, uh, is he more attractive than the guy who has a natural talent and made his money using his natural talent? And that was the, that was the first set of questions, okay? The next mm -hmm. set of questions was, it was very similar to that, is both of these, these, these people have come from a, uh, a disadvantage. One of them won the lottery, and the other one had a lot of money, lost all that money and then regenerated that money again. And in every single instance and every time they sort of like rejiggered this whole experiment, it's the guy who has creative intelligence who is able to rebuild the village and rebuild the house after the tornado sweeps yeah. through there and, br and breaks through the village. And he comes back and says, you know what, fuck it, we're going to try it again. We're going we're to build an even bigger one this time because that's just how things are. That's how I'm, I'm discontent. Here's how I'm going to creatively deal with my discontent rather than destructively. Creatively and learn from your mistakes. And another thing in, in the company we built, one of the things we did is we looked at the mistakes of the companies around us. For instance, there were several companies that were in, a, in, in our arena that did not pay their employees on time. So that was the first thing we did in our company. No one ever complains about not getting paid on time. People were messing with commissions. There were people making promises on sales calls that they couldn't fulfill. So those were the first things we attacked. I've talked to you before about the Lee Iacocca story, mm -hmm. yeah. where Lee Iacocca took, takes over Chrysler. Chrysler. And what he does is he gets it so the assembly line has zero fatalities, zero accidents. Then when later on he has to negotiate with the union, labor union, they have, they, they have, he's negotiating from a place of strength because he's actually fixed some problems. And so that's the other thing. It's not just the creative intelligence definitely is one thing, but it's also learning from your mistakes and learning mm -hmm. from other people's mistakes. And that's even if you're an OnlyFans creator or a fucking porn star, like you're learning from other people's mistakes. That's another thing that you can do.